welcome back to industrial biotechnology course now in the last lecture i try to discuss the glutamic acid fermentation process this kind of uh, amino acid uh, production so we try to give you some kind of information that how the amino acid can be produced now uh, now in this lecture i i am starting with the new areas that is uh, production of penicillin because the penicillin is considered is the first antibiotics that is ever produced and that have been used for um, for curing the wounds particularly we have during uh, during some accident and other things so uh, that wounds is mainly due to the infection of gram positive bacteria so with the invention of this penicillin we can nowadays we can cure the this is particularly in case of world war 2 it was very much required because lot of uh, soldier was wounded and they required this kind of a, a, a antibiotics for curing their um, wounds and uh, first question that is uh, arises what is called penicillin penicillin is a kind of antibiotics used to uh, used to treat bacterial infection because uh, antibiotics let me tell you antibiotics is uh, has a uh, it kill the germs actually because it uh, is kind kind of infection that we have it uh, kills that that is uh, antibiotics and uh, first naturally occurring antibiotics isolated from the mold so the the mold is kind of fungi that is used uh, for the production of this uh, antibiotics and discovered by accident 1928 by alexander fleming so this is a very famous scientist and who first discovered this penicillin which has some antibacterial property the penicillin antibiotics includes the ampicillin the phenoxymethyl penicillin amoxicillin then for fast to second the generation fourth generation antibiotics that we produce from the penicillin 50 drugs that are now classified as penicillin the penicillin i shall show you the speciality of the penicillin it has the beta lactam ring so that uh, that uh, we have we can produce 50 di different drugs uh, classified as penicillin so use in world war 2 and after so as i mentioned this is after that it was go, go use now this is as i as i told you this uh, the the penicillin the speciality is that they have this beta lactam ring that we have it falls under the class of beta lactam antibiotics so this is called the beta lactam antibiotics and this is the uh, <coughs> thiazolidin this is ring that we have so most of the antibiotics this portion is uh, is remaining constant only the acyl side chain this will keep on changing because uh, this is the r group that keep on changing that uh, let me show you this this is uh, beta lactam and this is the r group and this r group might be different we have we have if r group is uh, this uh, methyl Uh, benzene, methyl benzene, or phenyl benzene, uh, methyl uh, benzene. Then we we uh, because this is precursor is the uh, what do you call phenyl acetic acid. We have phenoxy acetic acid that we have different type of uh, R group. If present there, we have different types of antibiotics. But all are penicillin group. Because all has the beta lactam, uh, this uh, the ring that we have. So this is penicillin G, penicillin B, ampicillin, amoxicillin, and methicillin. Now, <coughs> largely we use uh, this penicillin G and penicillin B because penicillin from penicillin G we produce ampicillin and other antibiotics. Penicillin B, uh, the basic difference between the penicillin G and penicillin B is that penicillin G is the quite unstable and acidic pH. So uh, you, we we know that penicillin usually taken in two different forms, either in the form of uh, capsule or either in the or in the form of uh, injection fluid. Now, if it is injection fluid, our uh, our uh, blood pH is almost close to the 
the neutral. So, uh, if, you, the, if you take a penicillin G in the fluid, we do not have any problem, but if you take as a capsule, our, our stomach pH is about uh, 2. So, it is uh, quite unstable at the pH 2, so activity of the penicillin will be lost. So, we find comparatively penicillin G is better. So, penicillin G usually taken in the form of penicillin capsule. So, so we have uh, we have the classification of penicillin. We have natural or biosynthetic uh, way. You can we can uh, the penicillin that is harvested from the mold through the fermentation. We consider as a natural or biosynthetic penicillin B penicillin G, and semi-synthetic semi-synthetic derived from the penicillin because we add some kind of we make some kind of chemical alteration here to get the ampicillin, oxacillin, ca carbenicillin and inthicillin etc. resistant to stomach acids and this penicillin they are resistant to stomach acid we can take in the form of capsule because then it would be quite similar. So, that is not natural, not pure natural, but it is semi-synthetic. Semi-synthetic means this is derived from the um, penicillin, which is mostly it is derived from the penicillin G. That is, it is uh, do. So, now question comes how the penicillin acts, uh, how penicillin acts on the, uh, on the, uh, this uh, organism, which, uh, which is pathogenic, because who causes the wounds because it is very interesting. The, it is resemblance protein needed to the cell wall. So, um, the, its structure is quite similar with the protein needed for the cell wall formation. Penicillin binds with the cell wall of bacteria and prevent the peptide chain for linking and lyse it. So, lyse it you know that it is kill, it is just uh, destroy that and they do not interfere with the synthesis of other uh, intercellular components because because they they inhibit for the main purpose of the penicillin they inhibit the cell wall formation in the bacteria so since uh, the cell wall formation of the bacteria is inhibited then cell wall will be killed that is how the penicillin work but it doesn't affect the intercellular component because when we take in our system it will affect the bacteria but it will, it will not affect the intercellular component of our system so that is very important these antibiotics do not affect the human cells because human cells do not have the cell wall now this is how the penicillin works it uh, this is you can see how this is the cell wall synthesis inhibitor in the growth media this is the inhibitor that we have that inhibits the synthesis of peptidoglycan an essential part of the cell wall the beta lactam ring of the penicillin binds to the enzyme trans peptidase used in the formation of peptidoglycan cross linking and then the inability to form the cross linking lead to the cell death that uh, this is the, 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 this is the reason why the cell death occur due to the osmotic imbalance as soon as as soon as the cell wall has been removed then what will happen there will be some osmotic shock in the in the microorganism then the microorganism will be killed this is uh, because cell wall is a very important component of the uh, microorganism now let us uh, let us talk about little bit about the history of penicillin the first antibiotics were discovered in the year 1896 by the Ernest uh, uh, Dusen Dusen and he rediscovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928 from the filamentous fungus Penicillium notatum. So, nowadays we produce penicillin by Penicillium griseus. I shall discuss how the transformation has been taking place. The first penicillin that has been identified for the formation of penicillin that is Penicillium notatum. And this is how it grow on the surface of the petri plates and, uh, and, uh, and the fungal looks like this that whatever is shown in the petri on the petri place. Uh, in 1928, uh, Sir Alexander Fleming, a Scottish biologist, observed that penicillium notatum, a common mold, 
uh, has destroyed the Staphylococcus bacterian culture, culture. So, Staphylococcus we know it is a very um, uh, harmful bacteria for us and they uh, he found out that Staphylococcus growth of Staphylococcus will be is greatly in, uh, interfered, greatly inhibited in presence of this particular mold which produces the penicillin. It was first discovered by the Alexander framing like this. And then, uh, then the sample of the molds uh, from the contaminants plate uh, is taken out. It was penicillin family and later identified as penicillin onotodum. Later, penicillin, so he identified the uh, particular organism, what is the organism from the plate and he identified the organism as the penicillium notatum. The penicillin in the Fleming presented his finding 1928. He published the report on penicillin and his potential use British Journal of Experimental Pathology. Now, production of penicillin during World War II importance is realized as penicillin has been used to treat the many wounded uh, the soldiers because I told you before also this importance of the penicillin that visualizes after the World War II. <coughs> work of uh, the production of penicillin work by Alexander Fleming 1981 to 1981 to 1955, Howard Flore 1898 to 1968 and arts chain 1906 to 1979 helped in the production of penicillin on a large scale for the first time for human consumption that uh, human use 1940-43. Now here I want to point out in India uh, Sarabhai chemicals that is the uh, one company that uh, that produces the penicillin through this fermentation process and they use the penicillium uh, griseus uh, 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 for the uh, for the production of penicillin so <coughs> now spectrum activity of penicillin uh, penicillin is considered as a narrow spectrum antibiotics. You know that antibi antibiotics has two type of antibiotics. One is narrow spectrum, another is the wide spectrum antibiotics. Narrow spectrum antibiotics being they are very specific uh, against any bacterial species, and wide, uh, wide spectrum antibiotics means they can act uh, against the different type of bacteria. So that is, uh, as for example, that penicillin is considered as a narrow spectrum antibiotics, but streptomycin is considered as a broad spectrum antibiotics. And penicillin only only can at attack on the gram positive bacteria, uh, and then some member like amoxicillin, because the which you derive from the penicillin, are also e effective against the gram negative bacteria, but not pseudomonas. Uh, Erogenosa. The production of penicillin, let me discuss how the penicillin production takes place. It is very, uh, it is common as, as compared to the, uh, particularly for citric acid fermentation process. You see that we have the lipolyzed culture, then we, we know that how to uh, activate the lipolyzed culture. I told you that. Uh, Culture may be available in two different forms, either in the form of lipolyzed culture or in the, in the form of uh, slant culture. The first you have to activate the lipolyzed culture and put it in the slant because how it is done? It is very simple procedure that we have. So we, lipo we, we know the lipolyzation process. I have I already discussed lipolyzation is a is a freeze drying process under frozen condition. This is uh, the moisture is uh, is taken out. The water molecule from the solid to vapor phase is taken out so that your microorganism can be preserved for longer period of time. This dry powder which contains the cells which can be preserved for couple of years we can take it out and then we can uh, we can we can we make a suspension in 0.85 percent saline water just we can make a suspension then we can take one spoon uh, spoon and uh, this uh, one uh, loop full of this culture and and then we stick on the particular <coughs> particular slant you know that uh, 
agar agar slant we can again have the rear media we can again put the sketch on the surface so while we we produce this slant this is slant and then uh, agar slant and then we we this agar slant then we form this where we keep it in the incubator allow the cell mass to grow after that we we take this culture we transfer to the uh, 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 liquid media which is uh, in the in the conical flux conical flux we have liquid media so this is we from this we this culture we transfer here when grow we transfer here so <coughs> here what is the, then this the we take it in the uh, inoculum vessel we 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 increase the volume and finally we put it in the inoculum vessel i i told you the volume of the inoculum vessel is uh, 10 to 5 to 10 percent as compared to fermenter. Now here, I want to point out that uh, that in case similar to the citric acid fermentation process that we use uh, as well that uh, Aspergillus niger, which is also fungal uh, fungi, and here we use Penicillium griseogenum, which is also fungi. So what is happening that that we shall have that this fungi is a, uh, the multi the the, the, mm, the filamentous organism. So, I shall show you the uh, structure, how morphology of this particular organism. That uh, what we will observe that uh, that uh, this this uh, this organism we cannot count. So, what we have to do, we shall have to put the uh, uh, do the sporulation of this microorganism. And sporulation, I have already shown you how the sporulation is done. I I mentioned that uh, uh, by using the weighted. Uh, um, this uh, barley grains and uh, honey peptone media it is possible to produce uh, the spores of the any kind of fungal cells so and you know i here i want to uh, mention that penicillium chrysogenum this is has a green spore green spores that you know that is so in case of in case of uh, that uh, in case of uh, this uh, 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 what you call uh, in case of uh, aspergillus niger we had the bray black spores and here we have the green spore and we can count it uh, and we can prepare the spores for culture in the lab and this culture we can we, we take we take it in the seed can and from the seed can we transfer to the inoculum vessel this is what we call pre fermented and now here we produce the vegetative cells and these vegetative cells you put it in the production fermenter and after production fermenter first you pass through the filter filter means rotary vacuum filter because the rotary vacuum filter already i explained since the uh, fungal size the fungi fungal size are quite big couple of millimeter so it can be easily separated with the help of uh, rotary vacuum filter where you can get the mycelium and this can be mycelia can be used for the production of rough quality paper then you put it in the cold tank and then to the um, uh, purification and recovery uh, process the, this is this is the steps involved in the <coughs> in the in the penicillin production a media is constant liquor is the byproduct of the starch manufacturing uh, industry the constant liquor that we have and it it is considered as a good nitrogen source then we have yeast extract this also considered the good nitrogen source and uh, and other substance added to the i i i i mentioned you before that two type of media that we have we have complex media we have synthetic media complex media means when um, the composition of the media is not well defined but whenever you use any kind of natural product constant liquor is a kind of natural product is produced from corn and so this uh, and yeast all yeast extract also comes out from the yeast and other substance added other uh, particularly these two substance if we present any of these two substance present in the media we can consider the media as a complex media because the composition can be cannot be defined properly 
and after 40 hours penicillin begins to to be secreted in the fungus so the, the mold mycelia is filtered from the harvested product and the penicillin is extracted from the organic solvent butyl acetate or amyl acetate in which it dissolve and uh, potassium salt are added in penicillin precipitate to form that is wash and dry let me let me tell you um, tell you the things how how really it happens so in the in the penicillin production because after the fermentation is over fermentation takes about uh, 5 to 6 days after the fermentation is over we take out the fermentation broth and we separate out the cell by using rotary vacuum filter then filter it we take it out filtered content the penicillin so uh, penicillin is recovered by using the solvent extraction process and solvent we use the butyl acetate the butyl acetate this uh, now this is very critical process because in the lab you have uh, buchner funnel with the help of buchner funnels we have two different type of liquid solvent we use we can we can we can shake properly so that uh, the with the respect as the solubility at the partition coefficient of particular solute is different in the different uh, layer different layer of solvent so it moves from one layer to other layer but industry we are handling huge amount of liquid the question comes how one uh, the penicillin present in aqueous layer is goes to the solvent layer so they they mix uh, in a, they they have uh, some kind of mixing like this they have uh, 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 through through mixing uh, they, they, they move in, they mix in a such a way this both the layer they can mix uh, thoroughly and so that one layer is uh, Mm, that uh, one so solute present in one layer goes to the uh, other layer but, but uh, solubility depends on the pH of the media we found that at acidic pH the solubility of penicillin is more in the solvent layer and in the normal in the neutral pH solubility of penicillin more in the aqueous layer so so when when <coughs> we use the acidic pH then then uh, your uh, your penicillin will go to the solvent layer then this two uh, butyl acetate is insoluble in water so you can easily separate the aqueous layer from the solvent layer and aqueous layer what, uh, what is considered as a industrial effluent you have to discard it again you use some water and uh, use some kind of uh, buffer solution or the, the, the so that you know maintain the ph as 7 so that when you when you again mix together then your penicillin will come back from the solvent layer to the uh, aqueous layer so uh, then again you take this solvent out again purify the solvent again you uh, you increase the decrease the ph to 2 and uh, by the help of acid then again you recover the, the solvent in the uh, the penicillin the solvent layer like this you can purify because penicillin is to be purified properly because penicillin as I mentioned it is usually uh, marketed in two different forms either in the form of uh, uh, capsule or in the form of injection fluid if it is the injection fluid fluid is the hundred percent free from the contaminants so so your your fluid should not have any kind of contaminants present because as soon as you inject your bloodstream if any contaminants is there your health immediately will be uh, affected so there is no no uh, contamination should the 100 percent sterility you have to maintain but in case of capsule that 100 percent sterility may not be required because because you know because as i to told you that when you take in the form of capsule is goes to the stomach where your ph is 2 if some microbial infection is there then your system will take into account then <coughs> then finally you use some kind of potassium salt potassium salt might be potassium acetate or potassium carbonate we add so that potassium or potassium or sodium salt of penicillin can be separated out and finally we do the crystallization process through the crystallization process the penicillin salt or sodium salt we take it out from the system now the penicillin was first uh, <coughs> the first uh, important commercial product produced by aerobic submerged fermentation process first antibiotics to be manufactured in bulk and used as input 
of um, for some semi synthetic antibiotic antibiotics i mentioned before it is fermented in a batch culture a, a feed batch uh, process is normally used to prolong uh, stationary phase so increase to increase the production here let me tell you that uh, that uh, particularly in the penicillin fermentation process through the fermentation process we produce the beta lactam group that is produced but actual production of penicillin depends on the precursor we have seen the odd group that is different for that very the different type of penicillin so we have in the fermentation process we usually produce two type of penicillin one is penicillin g another is penicillin uh, b for the production of penicillin g we use the phenyl acetic acid phenyl acetic acid and in this is in case of penicillin g and in case of penicillin b phenoxy acetic acid penicillin b so the we use uh, we use the, this uh, two different precursor this is the precursor that is required required for the penicillin fermentation process so so this is the, this is the this is the this is the profile of the different component present in the reaction mixture the lactose that is used as a carbon source this is keep on decreasing with respect to time and you can see that uh, biomass production is increases like this and penicillin production increases like this and uh, ammonia that considered as a source of nitrogen they decreases like this the like all all antibiotics penicillin is the secondary metabolites what is the secondary metabolites i told you that uh, when organism we have seen that uh, life cycle of the organism that uh, this is the viable cells this is time so when you plot that it is like this so we have lag phase we have log phase you have stationary phase you have death phase the this stage this is called stationary phase now this stationary phase that uh, what you have that uh, we have uh, we have uh, this uh, that this is called also starvation phase this is called starvation phase so starvation means they don't have we don't have the sufficient substrate for the organism so organism struggle for survive that is the difference we have and like all antibiotic and during this process their metabolism little bit changes in that so penicillin it produce uh, there that is why we call it as a secondary metabolize so it is only produced in the stationary phase it is it is only produced when the growth of the mangas is inhibited by stress and it is not produced during the active growth phase what you call here if you look at this is considered as the active growth phase but here you see that when the organism almost uh, going to the stationary phase then your penicillin production started like this so that is why we call it the penicillin is considered as a non growth associated product because the 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 rate of production is proportional to the cell mass but this occurs only when the organism attain the stationary phase thank you very much